Hello! Today I felt like testing out the 2D game making capabilities of Rust. I started this journey quite a while ago with the snake game I made using Piston. And then these roguelike videos I made much more recently. This time I wanted to bring it all together. Sprite sheets, simple animations and sound effects. Let's make Flappy Krabby. Welcome to You Code Things. It took me a year, but I finally took a look at GG Easy, or Good Game Easy. It's a Rust game framework for making 2D games with minimum friction. It says it contains portable 2D drawing, sound, resource loading, and event handling. Sweet! Their snake game example also refers to my snake video. I love ya. But how easy is it really? There are examples for anything I'm interested in. This asteroid game is pretty cool. This batch sprite drawing demo is bongers and is what completely convinced me that this is going to be super fun. I also enjoyed the cool mask example, vector mesh drawing, crazy fonts, the shader example, 3D, interaction, rendered to image, transformation, and you've created a slightly strange sound example. <laughs> the first thing I want to do is copy the batch sprite example. Luckily, I have a character I drew on hand. That's unbelievable. Let's make it legible. Add opacity, tinting and opacity works. Blend modes work. Flappy Krabby needs some art. Thanks, a sprite. Texture Packer is how I combine these files into a sprite sheet. It also gives you a JSON object with the positions, making it very easy to pull sprites out of the sprite sheet, or Texture Atlas, as I call it here because I'm fancy. With Surday, understanding the JSON was quick. Look at that data. So how did I use the JSON and sprite sheet to draw a single sprite? The JSON tells me the total height and width of the sprite sheet. The JSON also tells me exactly where the individual sprite with a particular name is positioned. Your game sprites are all on this one texture atlas image, but when you draw them to the screen, you cut out the little rectangle you want to draw. GG easy, once a rectangle percentage between zero and one. So with some math foo, you turn the JSON absolute positions into fractions between zero and one. This is great because now all my sprites are just an X, Y, width and height. And this magically gives me the sprite from the atlas. By setting an X and Y position, we can move the crab anywhere we want. Here I set two sine waves for the X and Y axis. I'm not doing any fancy stuff for my entities, just creating a struct with loads of fields, then storing everything in a long vector of entities. The roguelike video I did goes more in depth into this simple pattern. One of the properties is physics. Gravity is applied if you have physics, then with an if check, I check if the spacebar was pressed and change the velocity. I thought a debug view would be super cool, so I drew some squares on things. Time to start are looping backgrounds. This is another property I called scroll. It has a jump distance on it. When the entity is off the screen, if it has one of these, it jumps forward that many pixels. Kick off the tile with a constant velocity and we're in business. Pipes are very similar. Jeez, that pipe isn't thick enough. I didn't account for the challenge of keeping all the pipe segments together as the pipe moved around. Float rounding error started to be a major problem as the pipe segments are all individual entities with no knowledge of one another. I resolved this mess by counting the number of pipe segments and moving them all exactly the same amount up or down. Then I made them follow some pearl and noise to allow for smooth randomness. With working pipes, the game needs states. Starting, playing and dead. Starting just auto jumps the player. By looping the player rectangle over all the other rectangles, I could figure out if you slammed into one of those pipes. Player still looks a bit lifeless though. Let's change the sprite based on up or down movement and add some rotation. This'll do. Let's make some sound effects. And add a 
teeny little score counter in the top left. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Hmm? Huh?